Hey everyone, what's going on? Joey here, and it's finally time to go ahead and reveal who is under the mask of the Space Bunny. That's right, we're gonna go through all the clues, we're gonna answer all the clues, listen to the Pitch Correct audio, and compare the Pitch Correct audio to our guest. Now before we get started, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So for those who don't know, this past Friday, I went ahead and revealed someone for you guys, which is right over here, the Queen Cobra, because we know that there's more than one, so you can go ahead and check out that video. And as you know, this Wednesday, we're gonna get a lot of reveals. You see, there's three people left in that group. It's Space Bunny, Queen Cobras, and over here, the Prince. And only one can make it to the top over here with the Ringmaster and Firefly. Now, we already did reveal videos for those two, which you can go ahead and check out in our videos. And right now, the only ones we haven't done so yet is just right here. We've got Space Bunny and we got the Prince. The Prince I didn't do yet because I said, you know what? He's going to make it through this past week, so we'll reveal him on next Friday. And so right now, let's go ahead and reveal the Space Bunny. Now, when it comes to the Space Bunny, we only have two weeks of clues. And to be honest with you, the second week, aka episode eight, there really weren't any clues. It was like one mega clue and that was about it. Now, if you're like me, you typed everything up nice and neat on your computer. So let's go ahead and go back to the preseason, not episode seven, but the preseason. In that preseason episode, Nick Cannon mentioned the Space Bunny and we saw North Carolina. Yep. The next time we saw the Space Bunny was in episode seven. I'm going to go ahead and read what he said in his clue commercial, which is a clue package commercial kind of thing. It said, <clears throat> are you tired from a long career trailblazing all over the galaxy? You're sleepy, groggy, and not feeling always your cuddly self. Be a hero and cover all your bases with Space Boost Energy Drink. Extreme long-lasting energy with no side effects, which we do find out there are side effects, by the way. Space Boost Energy Drink, the best fuel to save the day. Now, there were a ton of visual clues, including a rocket ship on TV. We saw a bee and stung him. We saw a red handprint in the printer. We saw an energy drink, a basketball on fire, and we saw a dog, which was a sheep dog. The next time we saw him was episode eight, which was the mega clue. And his mega clue was a dumbbell and it said 500 pounds, which means this person is in shape. He said to that clue, I've been doing a lot of intense training over the years. Yeah, ready to knock the competition out. Those are all the clues. There aren't many clues for this character, which kind of makes this reveal a lot of fun. Now, we do have the Pitch Correct audio, for those who don't know, every single week we have the celebrity speaking in these clue packages, but Fox is smart. They're like, you know what, guys? We can't let them use their real celebrity voices because if we do, guess what? They're going to recognize it right away, especially when someone has an accent. That's right. So they take the audio, they speed it through a system which speeds it up, pitches it up. That way you have no idea who it is. Now, I am an executive audio producer here in New York City where it's my job to make audio sound good and this is where the mask Singer comes in. I figured I could slow it down and pitch correct it. That way we can hear the real celebrity voice. Now, you can do this by pitch correcting them speaking to the judges or the clue package. For the sake of this video, I like him speaking to the judges a lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and play that audio. I'll play their original audio and then our audio. Take a listen. I've been doing a lot of intense training over the years. Wow. Er. Yeah. I've been doing a lot of intense training over the years. Wow. Er. Yeah. Now, I know you know who this is. I mean, we've been joking about this since the preseason when we played the audio. You guys literally said it in the comment box. You're like, oh my God, we know who this is. It's Shaggy. Yes. We've been saying this for months that it's Shaggy, and we can confirm that it is Shaggy. Let's go ahead and compare the speaking voices. I'll play our pitch correct audio and then a clip, a interview clip of Shaggy. Take a listen. I've been doing a lot of intense training over the years. And an amazing voice. And if that isn't enough for you, let's go ahead and compare the singing voice. Shake, 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 Sonora. Now this one that gets a nice and decent girl. Speaking voice sounds like him. Singing voice sounds like him. Let's answer all of these clues. Going back to the preseason clue we saw in North Carolina. Well, Shaggy has a song from 1993 called 
Oh, Caroline. So big clue right there. Next was episode seven, saying, are you tired from a long career trailblazing? He is a trailblazer. For those who don't know, his kind of music, which is like top 40 kind of dance reggae, really didn't exist until him, until the 90s when he really started pushing this stuff. So he trailblazed that new genre of reggae. The visual clues, Rocket Ship on TV. He has a song called Boom Tastic, because Rocket Ship booms. Then we saw the Bee Sting. He did an album with Sting in 2019. It's called 44 over 876, something like that. I don't know how you actually pronounce that. Next was the red hint on the printer. Well, in his song from 2000, it wasn't me. His line is, she called me red-handed. Red-handed. I like that. It's pretty clever. Next was an energy drink. Guys, I actually don't have an answer for you with that. I have no idea how this relates to him. It's the only clue I don't have a connection to. So maybe below, you let me know. I know that he's known to have a lot of energy. Maybe that's why? I don't know. You let me know in the comments section. Next was a basketball that was on fire. He has a song and an album from 2000 titled Hot Shot. Get it? It's on fire. Shooting a basketball. It's a shot. It kind of works. Then we saw the sheepdog. There's a couple connections here. A sheepdog is known to be very shaggy. His hair grows a lot. You actually have to shave it. So shaggy, you kind of see it like that. And then let's go back to a sheepdog in general. In the movie called The Shaggy Dog, it was a sheepdog. Kind of works right there. Episode eight and the mega clue. 500 pounds of dumbbells just pushing it and pushing it. Did you know he was in the Marines? Yeah. So the intense workouts is him referring to him being in the Marines. So those are all the clues. That's the pitch correct audio. What do you guys think? Do you think we got it right? Do you think we got it wrong? Let me know in the comment section. And as a reminder, I know today's actually, it's May 3rd, it's Tuesday. I was supposed to do a reveal video yesterday, but I just wanted to go ahead and point out, a lot of people didn't notice what yesterday's video was about. The Masked Singer is launching an international competition. One world, one Masked Singer. It's extremely interesting because this is the first time ever that something like this is taking place. So go back and check out that video. And I want to thank you for joining me. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. I'm Joey. See you later. Bye.